Today we're making a painting dressed up with LEDs. It's easy to customize to your own decor theme and makes a great workshop project as well. Keep watching to see how I put it together. Hey, it's Becky. I show you how to make things and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I first started working on this project for Introduce a Girl to Engineering Day, for which Nate Larson had created this guide for an in-person activity. I worked on it during my live stream for DigiKey, the sponsor of this video. It was super fun to chat with some of my favorite makers about how they got into DIY electronics, and you can catch the replay. I put a link in the description to the full tutorial for this project with links to all the supplies you'll need to make your own. You'll need a canvas that's stretched, so you have direct access to the back of the fabric, which will diffuse the light. Other solid types of painting surfaces won't let the light through. You'll also need some acrylic paint, brushes, something to protect your work surface, a bucket of water, and your choice of addressable LED pixels, whether it be a strip, rings, singles, or a combination thereof, whatever your preference. One way to plan your painting is to lay out the pixels on the front of the canvas and lightly sketch around them to create a design. I'm drawing flowers. Then I'm going in with my black paint and filling in the design. Let the paint dry before adding the electronics. During the recent live stream, I wired up the first NeoPixel ring to a microcontroller and hot glued it to the back of my canvas. My co-host, Ali Weber, made her own version of the painting project too. Very cute. After the stream, I made a more permanent version of the circuit on a solder type breadboard, connecting up the pixel's power and ground as well as the data input to a digital output pin on the microcontroller. In my case, an Arduino Micro. Then I continued connecting pixels to the chain using small gauge stranded wire. You can find a circuit diagram and complete parts list at the link in the description. I powered up the pixels using some library sample code uploaded to the Arduino and flipped the painting over to see and align the pixels to the artwork. Then I hot glued it in place using a blast of canned air to rapidly cool the glue before repeating with more pixels. After the circuit is complete, you can go in with a little more paint and touch up as needed. I'm powering this thing with an old USB phone charger. In Nate's original guide, he shows how to use pixel strip folded in half, upright and perpendicular to the painting, using the hot glue as light pipes. This makes it possible to put two different colored regions very close to each other while having nicely diffused light. The finished painting makes a great night light that's totally unique. Please give this one a try and share your results with me. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. I hope you'll subscribe with the bell to be notified of my future uploads, subscribe to my email newsletter, and find me on your favorite social media platform. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. This video was made with support from my sponsors and generous donations from viewers like you through Patreon and YouTube memberships.